What's up, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're talking about a shocking new report from a very reliable source that claims the upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra might be making a huge change. If this report is true, Samsung is ditching Qualcomm Snapdragon chip for its own in-house Exynos chipset. For the last three generations, the flagship Galaxy S Ultra has been powered exclusively by Snapdragon chips, giving users the best performance regardless of their region. But a new report from the Korea Herald suggests that the entire Galaxy S26 lineup, including the Ultra, will use Samsung's new Exynos 2600 chipset. Up until now, Everyone assumed the Galaxy S26 Ultra would be exclusively powered by the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2. But a new report from a major Korean publication says that every single model, even the Ultra, will have the Exynos 2600 inside. This is a huge deal, because in the past, Exynos chips have often been considered inferior to their Snapdragon rivals in terms of raw power and thermal efficiency. So why would Samsung do this? The answer is actually pretty logical. The Exynos 2600 is set to be built on Samsung Foundry's new 2 nanometer process, which is a significant leap forward. For context, current top tier chips like the Snapdragon 8 Elite are built on a 3 nanometer process. The smaller the number, the more advanced and efficient the chip. And it looks like this new chip could be a game changer. Recent Geekbench results for the Exynos 2600 are very promising. It's scoring ahead of the current Snapdragon 8 Elite, and even coming close to Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2. It even surpassed the multi-core performance of the iPhone 16 Pro. The Exynos 2600 could also feature a new thermal system called the Heat Path Block to boost stability and efficiency, addressing one of the biggest complaints about previous Exynos chips. Samsung has also reportedly brought in a former Huawei GPU executive to help develop its first in-house GPU, a move away from the AMD-based designs of the past. If Samsung has its own in-house chipset that can truly compete with Snapdragon, it's a logical move for the company to use it and save money, instead of paying Qualcomm for components. The real question is, can Samsung convince the public that the Exynos 2600 is a great chip? Snapdragon has built a very strong reputation, and it won't be easy to change the perception that Exynos is a step down. The success of this new chipset is not only critical for the Galaxy S26 series, but for Samsung's entire chip business. So, what do you think of this potentially massive change for the Galaxy S26 Ultra? Are you excited to see Samsung betting on its own tech? Or does the thought of an Exynos-powered Ultra make you nervous? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech leaks and reviews.